Well, Grandpa here again. Grandpa has never been afraid to try new things once in a while. And, uh, I mean, how you know if you can do something if you never try it, right? And anyway, I found out that I can do some things that I never thought I could do before. And uh, public speaking was one of them. I used to be scared to death of it. And uh, I volunteered for it one time, got up in front of 120 different people, and gave a talk for about an hour. And I kind of enjoyed it. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm, I've never been a sculpture before. I've driven, drew, <laughs> drew pictures and things like that, but I've never really made uh, a sculpture or a carving. Anyway, I had a tree removed in my yard, and uh, actually in my neighbor's yard, but it was next to my line. And, uh, and I had them cut the stump kind of high, because I thought, well, maybe I could do something with that stump. So anyway, I'm going to uh, uh, put a squirrel on it. And uh, as one sculpture said one time, he says, uh, the, the sculpture is inside there. All I got to do is remove the material to expose it. And uh, so that's what I'm going to give a try to do. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how it works out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you can learn along with me on how to do this kind of thing. And at the end, I'll give a recap on what I learned and what worked, what didn't work. <laughs> anyway, maybe if the whole thing didn't work, I'll just whack the whole thing off, make firewood out of it. But anyway, we'll, we'll see you out there in the front yard. Well, here I am out here with my stump. Right there. And uh, I'll start my carving. It's uh, after 9 o'clock in the morning. I generally wait till after 9 o'clock to make any noise in the neighborhood, keep the neighbors happy. But here's my model that I'm going to try to carve. And anyway, it's kind of nice to have something that's 3D to, to look at when you're doing it. Basically, if you look down from the top, you can kind of see how it's a rectangle would fit around this. So that's the first thing I'm going to do in my stump is carve a rectangle in the top of the stump and then I can take my pen and maybe carve the silhouette of this. And that's my plan anyway. Hopefully it works. Anyway, here we go. One other thing. Make sure you wear your safety equipment. I wear gloves and I wear hearing protection. Probably should wear a haired hat and some eye protection too. But I got my glasses on. I'm not going to be doing that much carving stuff. So anyway, you do better. If you have any comments, write them down below. Anyway, love to hear from you.
well, there you have it. I got my, my block and now I can take my pen and kind of try to outline, rough in the squirrel and stuff to get as close as I can anyway. Here we go. Now comes the fun part to see if I can't carve that with the chainsaw. Maybe that'll give me the silhouette and then I'll go around the front side and see if I can't kind of draw in the front side a little bit too. Anyway, here we go. Well, I'm going to move you a little bit closer here because I think the squirrel's starting to take shape. Anyway, I'm about ready to do the front part of it. Sorry about turning my back to the camera. It's just the way it is. got to be able to see what you're working on. Anyway, here's a little closer view. If you can see that. Yeah. Anyway. That's what I've done so far. Anyway, now I'll come around and do the front side. It's pretty wide. I am not. As you can see, I probably shouldn't have put on clean clothes this morning. <laughs> but uh, starting to look like a squirrel a little bit, maybe not from the front. But I got some uh, 
carving uh, discs coming in from my four inch grinder. And, uh, and I'm thinking it'll be a lot easier to use than this big old chainsaw. This isn't the most ideal chainsaw for carving squirrels. <laughs> anyway, probably a lot smaller one would be better. Maybe I'll show you the, the side over here. Kind of see a little bit. Starting to look like a squirrel. Here's a piece that, I, that I'd cut off. Looks like a squirrel on the ground. Maybe I can do something with that, huh? Set it out in the garden or something. Anyway, that's it for now. Till my, my disc come in. And then I can uh, carve a little bit more on it. But anyway, it's, uh, it's starting to take shape a little bit. And we'll, we'll see how it turns out later. Anyway, till another day. Bye for now. see me carve this part too with a four inch disc grinder and a wood shaping disc <laughs> anyway I guess you're a little too late I grandpa forgets things and I forgot to start the camera on time anyway uh, this is pretty much it this is uh, not maybe completely done yet this is what the little wood cutting disc looks like it just has little teeny burrs on it Spins around real fast and it shapes the wood. Anyway, I'll take you around on it. Now you have to remember, I'm not a carver. I've never carved anything before in my life. I've never, you know, did anything like this and stuff. So this is the first time. So criticize all you want then do it yourself. <laughs> anyway, here I'll, I'll take you around and show you what I, what I did anyway. That's my model sitting there in front. I know it ain't the same and stuff, but it's close enough. The front's kind of wide and ugly and stuff, but uh, but the sides look okay. There's a chainsaw mark down there in the bottom that uh, didn't need to be there. But, uh, but anyway, you kind of get the idea that it's a squirrel. And... Uh, What I plan on doing when I'm all done with it is uh, burn it a little bit. Just burn it around the edges, just kind of give it some uh, texture and some character a little bit. Anyway, and I think it lasts longer when you, you burn it. The bugs don't get in it as, as quick and often and stuff. So anyway, for the most part, that's uh, Grandpa's stump sculpture of a squirrel. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. Uh, I'll put a <coughs> excuse me sawdust. Anyway, I'll put a, a link down there in, in the description down below. Click down there on more information on the, the discs that I got uh, for the four-inch grinder. They come in pretty handy, and uh, and also I'm gonna also use a little uh, air tool on it to get down in some of the crevices that this one won't get down into, just to kind of touch it up a little bit. This part. This part right in here, the uh, this grinder won't get in there. You see, it has some some rough spots in there and stuff. And I'm thinking that little little grinder will get down in there okay and smoothing it out a little bit. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it and uh, like, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff, and uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, Grandpa signing out for today. Bye bye.
Okay, I'll grab my ear again. And uh, I finished the project out there. And uh, the last thing I did to it, I had to order a little propane torch. Uh, the bare wood was awfully white. And uh, anyway, if you torch it a little bit, you add some texture and some brownness to it. And most corals are brown. And, uh, and they got stripes on them, so they kind of come out with some stripes on it. Anyway, I just think it overall looks better. And I think, I'm not positive, but I think adding a little bit of charcoal to the outside might help preserve it too. Maybe the bugs won't like it so much. So anyway, it turned out uh, acceptable. I didn't put a face on it. I didn't put a lot of detail on it. But I found out, you know, on other projects, if you start putting in too much detail, then things start looking kind of weird. If you leave a little bit to the imagination, people can imagine they see a face on it and this kind of thing. If you add the head, the ears, the neck, the tail, the legs, those kind of things, people can pretty much feel in the rest of it with their mind. And uh, anyway, maybe someday I'll feel creative and do something with the face on it. But, but anyway, I finished it. And, uh, and anyway, here's the last go round with it. And uh, I hope you en enjoyed this project and maybe learned a little bit, you know. And the biggest thing you can learn is try it. Just try it. Go out and try it. I've never done it before in my life, and it turned out halfway decent. And, uh, and if it doesn't turn out, get a chainsaw and you'll whack it off. So nobody ever knows you, you did anything wrong. <laughs> anyway, this is Grandpa signing off. So see you later. Bye-bye.